Addison Brazil, the co-founder of Tether. That's an app to support men's mental health. Welcome back to the show, Addison. Thank you so much for having me back. And it's such an honor to be here on World Suicide Prevention Day. And, you know, for you, this story is so personal. You know, you've been on with us once before, but for people that may not have heard that story, can you tell us a little bit about why this day means so much to you? Absolutely. And uh, as I've been writing my first book, I've had to look at my story a lot. And the truth is, I never wanted mental health to have anything to do with my professional career. But in my 20s, I, I lost my brother to cancer. Uh, and then four years later, I found my father after his suicide, which was absolutely devastating and uh, sent me sort of to the ends of the earth to really look at what was possible from a mental health perspective and navigate the mental health system. And sort of on the cusp of, of doing that and, and celebrating doing that and coming back, I was in a very bad accident, as I mentioned last time, that killed a dear friend of mine and left me unable to walk, uh, relearning to walk uh, with a brain injury and a whole new territory of mental health challenges. And it was in that that I, for the first time, saw the other side of suicide, which was when I became suicidally depressed. And I had to look for help, resources, and support just to be here. And uh, luckily in that moment, I met my co-founder, Matt Zerker. And uh, we hadn't spoken since high school. And I reached out to a post where he, he was uh, saying he was in need of support. And I just let him know that I was there too. And uh, without knowing, we created what we now see as a beta relationship for our, our app. And, um, and yeah, he was the first man that ever admitted he didn't want to live and he didn't want to die. And wow. it was so powerful to me to, to hear that from somebody else uh, at that time, especially. It, it's so powerful to hear it from you right now. And of course, we're so sorry for all the loss that you've experienced turning your your pain into purpose. That's exactly what you're doing with this app, Tether. So explain to people how this really works. Yeah, absolutely. So we are uh, the world's first peer enabled men's uh, emotional fitness platform. Uh, and we really focus on giving men tools that help them create purpose and meaning in their life, uh, track their emotional fitness and mental well being, and above all else, have a 24 7 access to support in their back pocket. Because as we all know, life is 24 7 now, and our access to support has to meet that. All right, so we know you have experienced uh, both sides of, of suicide. Um, what message can you share on this Suicide Prevention Day? Yeah, absolutely. I think that we've done an amazing job of really starting to bring down stigma, and we focused so much in the last five years in the landscape on suicide awareness. So, you know, as you said, the World Health Organization is saying now that 700,000 people are more dying of suicide a year. And just to put that in perspective, with 78% of those being male, just in the time that we've been talking today, that means about four people have passed by suicide and three of them were men, just while we're talking today. So what I would encourage everybody to do is, as you're building awareness around the problem and taking in all this information, allow that to inspire you to take action whether it's in your community whether it's with your local government however you can best be informed even if it's to just take action within your own regime of um you know if you're a male please download the app and start start tracking your emotional fitness and getting an idea of where you're really at um you know we're we're raising right now to take tether to the next level and uh, silicon valley is signaling to us that this is something that we can really really change with tech and we're really excited about that so the more we grow the more obviously stigma comes down but we're able to build uh really actionable tools and solutions and, and addison how can women really help in this cause how can we be an ally in this I think as always, women and non-binary, of course, if you don't identify as male, I think we've all seen, whether it's in the news or culturally, the need for men's mental health. And um, just being an ally, letting a man you know that may be suffering, that um, you know it's okay to feel that way, and that there's actually tools now, and there's actually 10,000 other men on Tether right now that feel that way and may be able to support you and really normalize the experience. And just like that happened for me with Matt at my lowest moment, uh, you know, I remember being there just praying to get through, uh, saying, if, if I get through, I'll go back for the other guys. You know, I, I can see how that would happen through Tether. 
Well, thank you uh, for sharing your story and for all the work you're doing to help save lives. And we want to let people know that the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline is 1-800-273-8255. And of course, you can download the app Tether, that's T-E-T-H-R. Addison Brazil, thank you very much. We'll be right back. Thank you, Addison.